Hey guys, it's Ray here from Marvel Code 12 and EpicDroid.com. I am here today to tell you about my experience with the Moto G6 Plus. I have now had this device for about a month. I've been mostly impressed with the device, but I do have a few big disappointments. One in particular. And it's the one big disappointment that will keep me from using it as my primary device. Before we dive in too far, I want to take a quick second and thank Tudia for sponsoring this video. I've been working with Tudia now for quite a long time. I was first introduced to them way, way back in the day when I got my first Nexus 5X. I have since used their cases on almost every single one of my devices and I have not once been disappointed. They make quality products at an affordable price. I am a huge fan of their cases and I would recommend them to anyone. We will have links in the video description down below where you can check out their cases for the Moto G6 Plus. Now let's talk about specs. The Moto G6 Plus is the bigger version of the Moto G6. But it's not just bigger, in a lot of ways it is also better. The Moto G6 Plus comes with a fancy looking glass body all around an aluminum frame. The display is a 5.9 inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 1080 by 2160 and an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. It ships with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 630 octa-core processor that clocks in at speeds of up to 2.2 GHz. For storage and memory, there are two different configurations. You can get it with either 4 gigs of memory and 64 gigs of storage, or you can get it with 6 gigs of memory and 128 gigs of storage. And then if that's not enough storage space for you, both configurations also offer SD card support. Typically when I do these reviews, I like to go over the things that I like before I get into the dislikes. However, in this case, I'm going to be mixing it up just a little bit. And for good reason. I really, really like the Moto G6 Plus, and based off my experience using it, I had a very hard time coming up with a list of things that I didn't like. There are really only two major things I didn't like about the Moto G6 Plus. The first and the biggest thing is that I can't use it. I live in the United States. Motorola has said the Moto G6 Plus will not be officially released here in the US. Because they have no plans of releasing it here, they didn't include the necessary band support for it to work on all the carriers in the US. With the Moto G6, they made it so it would work on literally every carrier. Nobody does that except for Google and Apple. Most manufacturers will make a device either work with one or maybe two carriers. I was super excited and I hoped that the G6 Plus would be the same as the Moto G6. Unfortunately, it wasn't. I was able to use it for voice and texting, but I was limited to very slow data speeds and I regularly lost both data and voice access when I used it out and about. I really like the G6 Plus and I would be willing to use it more if it came with the band support that I needed. Beyond that, my only other real complaint was the camera bump. The camera bump on the G6 bothered me, but it seems to me that the G6 Plus's bump is a bit bigger and it feels a lot more awkward when I'm using it. Not to mention that weird configuration kind of looks like a screaming, creepy face of some sort. As far as the things I liked about the phone, there was a lot. I love the screen size, I love the call quality, I love the responsiveness and the mostly stock Android, with the few enhancements that Motorola snuck in to make the device even better. I love it comes with USB-C and I love that it comes with a headphone jack. Battery life is way improved over the G6 and I love the affordability of the phone. All in all, there's really not a lot to dislike about the G6 Plus. It both looks and feels like it should cost more than it does. If Motorola would release a US version, I would definitely be purchasing it and using it. Until then, I will just have to stick with the Moto G6. To make a long story short, do I recommend the G6 Plus? Yes, but only if you are living somewhere outside of the United States. If you live outside the U.S., jump on it. This phone is awesome. So now in closing, I just want to take one more quick second and tell my friends over at Tudia, thank you again for sponsoring this video. But more importantly, thank you for protecting my devices throughout all the years. I have loved Tudia cases, and I have loved the way that they protect my devices, and that they've given me the peace of mind that I need when I am using them to ensure that they are going to last for the life of the device. So if you guys have any questions about the Moto G6 Plus, please feel free to hit us up in the comments section down below, and we'll reply to your comments as soon as we are available. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give us a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. And as always, I just want to take a quick second to tell you all thank you for watching, thank you for all your support, and you all have an awesome day.